what's up guys um i'm alex this is my first tutorial for my new channel uh i've previously had a, quite a few other channels but anyway i'm just going to be showing you how to replace or clean out your keyboard on a any toshiba satellite laptop uh including professional ones okay so all you need to do is get one of these screwdrivers make sure it's a uh, uh a plus end of, like a phillips uh make sure it's like fairly thin at the end and uh, just get like some wipes or a hoover or something so the first thing you want to do is look along the top of your uh, laptop of the keyboard just here and you should put your nail just in between there and just run it along push a little bit hard and then slowly pull up a bit and then you should feel a certain bit which will tease a bit more than all the other bits so just continue to do that and just run your hand along it and it should automatically just pop up for you just like that uh, I've done mine quite a couple of times so it will come off easily than yours would just continue to tease it until it all comes off then you'll just be left with this long rod right here uh, and now just want to get your screwdriver right here um, if you just overlook the uh, computer you'll see there's one there a screw uh, one there one there and one there okay so all you're going to do is practically just unscrew them now once you've unscrewed them all don't pull the keyboard out too quickly you'll understand why in a minute in fact just unscrew them and then play the video back when you can because I just need to take them out my f myself first uh, so just go along them all uh, take them all out shouldn't take too long because they're quite short screws uh, take that one out uh, just another two more now Lift that one out. And lastly, this one. Okay, so like I said a minute ago, do not take your keyboard out straight away because there is a cable which is holding the keyboard in. And if you pull that out, you'll knack your whole keyboard all together. Okay, so now the keyboard is loose you want to lift it from the back first and pull it forward a bit now it might have a little bit of pull because just down here you can see it's plugged in a little bit okay so these two little white bits you need to pull both of them forward so they're levelly out one second this takes a little bit of uh, teasing about Okay, so just make sure they're both levelly out. Okay, so now they're both out like that, it should just automatically just pop out for you. And now your keyboard is out, just like that. So now with this, you can easily just put in a brand new keyboard into there. Or you could just quickly clean out this one just here. Okay, so uh, as you can see, if you look carefully, mine is really dirty. So I need to clean all of mine out. Uh, this this is all the keyboard is. So if you look in just there, there is a lot much to there was a lot to the keyboard, like the fan, uh, the general motherboard. There's uh, actually there's just the plastic, the fan because the fan takes up about all of that just there the hard drive is just here batteries all along here and uh, the rest is just here the CD drives there uh, and it's just the board like round there and that's it so I'll be right back just need to clean out my keyboard um, yeah so guys I've just uh, cleaned out my keyboard and uh, I just thought if there's a certain key which is really annoying you like if you push it down and it sticks uh, I'm just going to show you how to also clean that specific key out so take uh, the spacebar for example 
you want to push the B button for example and just put your finger underneath the space bar and pu pull it a little bit keep pulling and it should sound like it's snapping off but don't worry it's not <laughs> and you find that uh, it's got this little sort of like a long staple type of metal bit and you just want to look into the space bar and just take out any little crumbs or hairs or whatever that's in it and just clean it all out and this bit you've got to look really carefully on because next to the two uh, little circle bits this has gone off next to the little two circle bits there's uh, two little metal bits and what you want to do is just get the little space button pop it out a little bit make sure you've got it the right way uh, and then just slide, slide the two staple bits uh, behind the grey bit so it just fits under and just push down the space bar and it should fit itself into place after you move it back around a bit and there you go just like so and now it's back into place and now if you do that with any button it should just make it completely fine even we come back to this little tag bit okay so if we look down here it might have popped itself back into place so just tease it back out again just a second. okay so i put all the screws in now so all you need to do is get this bit now and make sure you've got the bit which is uh, sort of like sticking up a bit more on one side than it is the other and make sure that bit's sticking away from you so slot one into one side okay this bit you don't want to push it all the way down because then you'll have to force that bit down so just keep on pushing the other side and just slot that in like there and just push it down a bit to make that just go in there a bit more okay so now you just want to want to like tease it a bit across to get it all into place like this uh, this little bit seems to be a bit hard okay there we go so that's all in position, uh, that's it, that's so you are done. Uh, please can you give me some feedback, like this video and subscribe, it will be some great help, there will be some more tutorials coming. Uh, so yeah, that's it, thank you and good.